This is a patient who came in with abdominal pain and had elevated lactate levels, and we got a, a CTA to further evaluate this. We got in the arterial phase and a more delayed phase as well. Um, I'll show you the more delayed phase. It was sort of a portal venous phase uh, as a start, and we can already see at the lung uh, bases as we scroll down right here in the distal descending aorta, this filling defect, this big thrombus that's sort of almost floating in that aorta. We'll scroll down and we'll get back to that in a little bit. But the organs here don't look too happy. We can see that the spleen uh, is not enhancing, so there's a quite a large splenic infarct. There's areas of heterogeneity, particularly in the left hepatic lobe, and you know that could be um, you know focal fatty infiltration potentially. At this point, tough to know if it's going to be anything more than that. But uh, we'll get back to that in a bit. And um, and we can see the kidneys also don't look too happy. Some areas of linear and uh, wedge-shaped areas of uh, decreased attenuation. And so clearly there's um, sort of something going on that's affecting multiple organs, certainly splenic infarcts. Probably in that context, the kidneys are going to be renal infarcts. And uh, if we look at the uh, arterial um, portion of the study, we can see a thrombus again really nicely in the distal uh, descending aorta. portion of it is then uh, going uh, into the abdominal aorta over here and extending into the celiac artery. Look at that large thrombus, this filling defect. And it goes into the splenic artery and uh, follows uh, it for, for much of its length, and that results in that splenic infarct. But it also goes into that common hepatic artery, and it's tough to follow beyond that. Maybe over here we can see a little bit of it. So in that context, what we're seeing in the liver is highly, highly concerning for ischemia. And uh, whereas uh, we don't quite see thrombus in the uh, renal arteries, uh, it's not unreasonable to think that some portion of that thrombus came off and, uh, and caused uh, some renal infarcts, uh, that wedge and linear-shaped areas of decreased attenuation within the kidneys. And the final thing for this patient, as we scroll downwards, we can see that the bowel doesn't look too happy. Look at the distal bowel here. It certainly uh, looks like uh, there's not a lot of enhancement within the wall. We just need to compare the wall over here, the lack of enhancement, versus uh, some other loops of bowel more proximal to it where the wall is enhancing you know, within normal limits. And so highly concerning for ischemic bowel. We don't quite see a feeling defect in the SMA going all the way down there. But again, reasonable to assume that given there's thrombus that's sort of throwing off and affecting multiple organs, that that appearance of what we see in the uh, in the distal small bowel is concerning for ischemia. And so this ended up being resected. This was bowel ischemia, and certainly the other findings were all compatible with multi-organ ischemia in the context of this thrombus that was sort of throwing off portions of it and, and going and, and uh, affecting all these organs.